Hello there people, welcome back to the EagleByte 83 channel where the past never dies. I'm of course your host, EagleByte. And tonight we are continuing in uh, Tales of Monkey Island and the uh, launch of the Screaming Narwhal. Or Narwhal. Uh, I actually updated my computer tonight. Or today, I should say. Uh, there was a Windows update. Um, turn on the computer, and I think my microphone is back to being, like, lower volume. Um, it doesn't really matter here, but, like, in places like, um, uh, Audacity, for instance. It's, like, lower again. It's not super, super loud. Tonight, I am also drinking green tea with uh, some ginger, lemon, um, a Tic Tac, actually, and some honey as well. There you go. All right, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's start the game, shall we? Yes, there we go. <clears throat> and we should actually have the correct overlay today as well. I realized when I rewatched it that I'd actually used the wrong overlay so yesterday's episode was a little bit wonky with the uh, game screen like the, the the game itself actually clipping outside the uh, the framework but eh, sometimes that happens happens alright let's do this here we go See if it looks better this time around. It should, and it does. Very nice, very nice. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that is warm. Okay. Uh, yes, that one. Load. Okay, so I think we need to do this. Hey, there's something in this sock. Club 41, probationary member number 37, Reginald Van Winslow. This should be I wasn't handy. I wasn't sure if I had actually checked the socks or not. Um Yeah, okay. I guess we can go there and check it out. I also want to, before I do that, I want to go check the ink, the ink, ink barrels. Do, do, do. Printer's ink, the lifeblood of the newspaper industry, lovingly harvested from squid udders. Uh, all right, so... I don't want to get ink all over that. Actually, I kind of do, but I don't think it'll help. Pink Pajama Pierre, you foiled me plans for the last time. Prepare really? to meet your maker in the ebon depths of the inky sea. Sacre bleu, is this the end of Pink Pajama Pierre? I guess it's true. Black really is slimming. Oh, so we're, ma we're gonna make our own Dark Ninja Dave. Okay. 
I get it. I only wanted to go over here to the vats to see if I could interact with anything here, uh, like use anything for that. But yeah, apparently we can. Uh, Pink pajama Pierre looks a little more menacing in inky black pajamas, but he still needs some accessorizing. Yeah, he needs his sword. It's a U-shaped tube. The U must stand for Unbreakable, I guess. For such an exclusive club, you'd think they'd have higher quality membership cards. Alright. What the hell has happened to the music? What, weren't the... Wasn't there music yesterday? Uh. Oh, okay. Very well. Card? Card? Oh, yes, my membership card. Here you go. Very good, Captain Van Winslow. Here's your blindfold. Blindfold? Come now, sir. You know the rules. All probationary Club 41 members must wear blindfolds inside the club. <laughs> right. How silly of me. Very good, sir. Find the step. I heard you make a mean bragatini. I'm so sorry. What a fight! That was spectacular drift. Uh -huh. Best pirate brew ha ha I've seen in months. I don't know what got into me. It was like my hand was possessed or something. Possessed, you say? Hmm. Sounds like there may be a follow-up story there. Keep feeding me these Bafo pirate stories, big boy. I'll be handing over the secrets to Deep Cut before you know it. Okay, so I've done the brawl. Did I get anything from this? No. Can I go in there again? Um... And I lost the membership card as well. Alright, never mind. Alright, let's talk to this guy again. Hey. Davy. What do you got for me, sleep good? <laughs> I still got some questions about those acts of piracy. Fire away, kid. I'm a font of information. What do you want to know? Uh... Won't using a pirate treasure hunter to find a treasure kind of mess up the story? Nah, if anything, it'll make it more authentic. I can see it now. New arrival helps famed pirate treasure hunter bag biggest booty ever. Okay. Where should I look for treasure on this island? There used to be all kinds of buried treasures in Flotsam's jungles, but they've been pretty much tapped out. If I were you, I'd look for an established pirate treasure oh, hunter. Excuse me. Give you a hand. I'm drawing a blank. I hate it when that happens. Uh, Bye. Keep up the pirating, kid. I'm rooting for you. Oh, what is? What's this? Uh, broken grogatine glass. What the? You put one of those miniature swords with an olive in my grogatini. I hate those things. Ah. A miniature sword, you say? Between the cool black tights and the dangerously pointy accessory, Pajama Pants Pierre is starting to look halfway collectible. 
Nothing like a quick paint job and a dangerously pointy accessory to turn a sad unwanted doll into an exciting ninja assassin. Well, maybe we can uh, go give it to the treasure hunter now. Any news? <clears throat> nope. Not yet. Saving the game. <laughs> hey, dude. As happy as it'd make Doro to finally get his hands on a Dark Ninja Dave, or an unreasonable facsimile, I think it'd be a lot more newsworthy if he found it himself. Oh. So we're gonna... Okay, we go back to... Yeah, we go back and bury it. Okay. We go We go to where we... Uh... Yeah, okay, 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 gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Can I go this way? Actually, no. Okay. All right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. isn't a ripoff after all. It isn't? But I never found anything with it. You must have been reading it wrong. Here, follow me. And X marks the spot. See? I told you I could find it. Huh? I better start digging. I hope it's not as deep as the other ones. Okay. <laughs> Dark Ninja Dave with Chilakara de Katana. <laughs> Dark Ninja Dave. Dark Ninja Dave. Fine. The full set of porcelain power pirates is mine. All mine. Oh, I got dirt in my eye. My ears deceive me. Or did that portly pirate just dig up a buried treasure? He sure did, with a little help from Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Well, that's fantastic! We haven't had a good buried treasure story in weeks! I'd better catch up with that wheezy primary before he has a coronary. Or worse, start talking to those boobs from the Times. Snappy primary, Threepwood. Keep this up, and the secrets of Deep Gun will be all yours! Jesus. That little jingle there, it's kind of like drowning out everything else. It's a little louder than anything, like any other music. So now we just need the ship. Still don't know how to get it. Uh, 
Wait, oh. Oh, Jesus. Ah! Tic Tac's still there. Ah, there we go. Yeah, look at look at the hands here. <laughs> what the hell is going on with the hand? Get him wild there, I feel like I feel like the hand thing is like that's the the red thread in this in these chapters. Like that is not going to be something that's, you know. <gasps> Excuse me. Now, in the dead winds, crest you in the bottle of grog. Okay, now what? Wait, 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 wait. Are we able to... What if we do this? Ah! No, don't, please. You'll have to be a lot sneakier than that if you want to knock me off, lad. Oh, I wouldn't say that. What? Clever boy. Okay. Well there played, we go. Master Threepwood. Or should I say Captain Threepwood? Captain? Aye, now that you've bounced me off the screaming narwhal, you're officially its captain. Until someone else comes along and knocks you off. Sweet. I bloody well sweet it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some massive internal hemorrhaging to attend to. Congratulations! I just got a tip there's some kind of one piracy going on around here. Not just any wanton piracy, a genuine ship seizure committed by none other than Captain Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. Uh, Guybrush is one word. Wonderful! I could probably get a week's worth of stories out of this. You know, Threepwood, you've got spunk. Pirate spunk. Ew. Now why don't you take a walk with me back to the keel hauler? Tell me a little bit more about yourself. Well, it all started back on Melee Island. <laughs> and that's how I wound up here on Flotsam Island. Well, I don't know how you did it, Seapwood. But thanks to you, I've got enough sorted swashbuckling stories to keep a Flotsam Keel Hall Gazette afloat for months. That'll show those bozos over at the Times. Yeah, that's, uh, great. Now, about Deep Gut. My pleasure, Threepwood. Sit tight while I make you a copy. Copy? Tammy, give me a copy of the Deep Gut file. Pronto. Right away, Mr. Nippikin. Okay, he's the only one there. Here you go, kid. Everything you need to know to contact Deep Gut. Don't let anyone know I gave this to you, okay? Uh, my editor will put me on deep cover in the obituary beat. Catch my drift? Not really, but... Great! Now, if you'll excuse me, Ace reporter Davey Nippigan's got some headlines to grab. Finally, now I can ask the keeping person how to get off this island and back to LA. Hmm, seems 
simple enough. Uh, basically walk to the sh to the house. I guess. And the word is deadline. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, you can run! I didn't know you could run. Okay. Oh, that's gonna make this a, a better. The whole experience is gonna be... Better. Creepy shack. Alright, let's let's save here, why not? I feel like I get the vibes that this is the voodoo lady, but because of what I like the the, the music I'm hearing, the faint music. But probably not. What's the word? You sound awfully familiar. You sound awfully familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be the voodoo lady. What's the word? Deadline. Yep. Yep. Welcome, Guybrush. I knew it. Voodoo lady. Boy, am I glad to see you. I've got so <laughs> many questions. There'll be time enough for questions later. But first, hand me the Lachuk Slayer. The what? The cursed cutlass of Kaflu. Now that Lichuk has been destroyed, the cutlass must be ritually dismantled in a soul-chilling voodoo ceremony to ensure that his evil never reawakens. Yeah, about that. I follow your recipe to the letter, but Lane messed it up now. I tried to destroy LeChuck with the cutlass, but I had to make some last-second substitutions, and there were some complications. What manner of complications? Well, the cutlass didn't so much annihilate LeChuck as it turned him human. What? I couldn't believe it either. Personally, I think it's a trick. The human LeChuck? This is troubling. Can you help me? Isn't that good? As the fates allow, but He's got I no powers. Will not like what I have to say. Can you tell me if Elaine is okay? Hmm. The view is hazy. Ask again later. Later? But she could be in danger. Or dead. Or worse. I only know what the spirits reveal, Guybrush Treepwood. Then what in the name of Satan's comb over are you good for, you bloated old sea hag? What was that? That was the parks of Lechak. Uh, who, who the what now? The parks of Lechak. When your improperly enchanted cutlass turned Lechak into a human, all the evil voodoo juju within him had to go somewhere. Were you touching him at the time? I was. Does that explain the antisocial behavior and the crude gestures? Yes, some of Lechak's <laughs> evil has seeped into your hand. Do you have a cure? No, but I know where you can find one. I feel a piratey quest coming on. To eliminate the parks of Lechak, you must seek out La Esponja Grande. The big sponge? La Esponja Grande <laughs> is no ordinary sponge, Treepwood. 
It is a legendary sea sponge with incredible voodoo exfoliating abilities, capable okay. of absorbing limitless quantities of voodoo mojo. Where can I find it? I have never seen it myself, but a former friend of mine, Coronado de Cava, spent many years searching for it. I last saw him in the Jerkbait Islands. Take this locket to him and tell him I vouched for your character. I'll get right on it after I find Elaine. That would be unwise, Guybrush. The pox of Lechuk must be eliminated before it spreads. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. If you can't tell me about Elaine, can you at least tell me where Lechuk is? Without a mark of the voodoo on him, Lechuk's whereabouts are a mystery to me. Okay. Uh... Can you help me get off Flotsam Island? I've got a ship, but it won't do me any good with these crazy winds. I'm afraid the winds of Flotsam are controlled by forces beyond my control, Guybrush. Perhaps someone in town can help you. Do you have anything to stave off the pox of Lechuk? His hand is really starting to annoy me. The only way to safely deal with the pox is La Esponja Grande. What else can you tell me about the pox of Lechuk? It's a creeping cloud of unstoppable evil, spreading Lechuk's accumulated vileness like a disease across the seas. Ugh. Even now, I can sense the pox wending its way to this very island. I mean, isn't it in Guybrush's hand? Assuming that I do go looking for La Esponja Grande after I get off this <laughs> island, what else can you tell me about it? It's a giant <laughs> magical sea sponge capable of absorbing immense voodoo energies. If there's anything that can mop up all of Lechuk's evil mojo, it's the sponge. Oh, one moment. Oh, shit! Zookster! <laughs> Hello there, man. Wow. Welcome back, man. Massive raid of one person. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you anyway. Uh, it's much appreciated to see you here again, man. How are you? Hope you're doing well. And welcome back. Tell me more about this locket. It was given to me by my friend, Coronado de Cava. Why do you keep putting dramatic pauses around friend? Was Coronado... Yes, he was my boyfriend. Icky. We met in the Jerkbait <laughs> Islands many years ago. I fell in love with his treasure-hunting mind and his beautiful eyes. He fell in love with my voodoo charms and my supple... La 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 la, not listening! <laughs> Like uh. a volcano! <laughs> but after several months of ocean steaming passion, our okay. love cooled after he became obsessed with the myth of La Esponja Grande. When we parted, he gave me that locket. Sad and disquietingly graphic. Huh. Uh, I'm doing better, but it has been three rough months. Oh, yeah! Was it, uh, was it COVID? I went to my mom's on Monday and I felt good for the first time in those three months. And the day I'm getting a bit worse again. As I've been home for a day. Oh, really? So something is going. It was not COVID. Something is going in the apartment. Oh, mold. Radon levels in the garage. Oh, isn't ideal. 
Yeah, I've I've also been uh, notified that I have elevated radon in my apartment, but they are going to exchange my windows with better ventilation. But they said that like last year, so I'm just I'm still waiting for it. But yeah, mold could be a real problem. Mold is actually like you know spore borne, and that's in the air and all that. So, how is the condition of your apartment? Like, is it a good apartment or like, is it like crappy? No offense. Like, but you know, like, how's the 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 floorboards and and all that? Uh, we have some extra ventilation below the windows, and it's making the floor. Really good. Oh, okay. Oh, well, well, well. <laughs> Fine, but old. Yeah, if it's old, it's... Th there is a chance that it, there's something with the apartment. Oh, really cold? <laughs> okay, I understand. I understand. Uh, well, are you... Have you, like... Uh, Filed a complaint with your uh, uh, Hedasat or Hedasvad? Have you? Have you? Your landlord? You What's know you've name? been helping me out for years, and I still don't know your name. Names have power, Gybra Streepwood. Only a fool willingly gives it away. Does my name have power? No. Uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> they won't do anything, really. I mean, if it's suspected that... Wait, that's a crappy landlord. I'm sorry, but... That type of landlord. I get it. Well, I'm sorry you have to go through that, man. Well, how'd you end up on Flotsam Island? I go where I am needed. All right. So you're Deep Gut, Davy Nipperkin's source of off-island news? Yes. Why? The price of a voodoo lifestyle is not merely spiritual, little pirate. It also requires a substantial financial commitment. All right. Uh, well, they sent out a survey last year, and after they got it all locked... Uh, looked at, sent out a paper. We're not so bad after all. <laughs> oh my god. If you have to say that, you're really... Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, dude. Which which landlord is is that? Don't tell me it's Victoria Ham. It, if it's Victoria Ham, then, then I'll just... Yeah. That's not mine, but that's my mother's, and they're notoriously bad. Uh, all right, we're done here. Well, this has been disturbing, but I've got an island to escape, a wife to find, and apparently a giant voodoo-sucking sponge to hunt. May the fates guide you, Guybrush Treepwood. All right. Lord, what a boost I would have. I'm not sure what kind of skull that is, but I hope I never run into one. Knock, knock. Guybrush, don't. Who's there? No. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. You fool. What? I've spent months crafting a pyrite parrot of Petaluma, and you've ruined it before it was finished. Now I'll have to start all over. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Sorry. Oh, can I get the parrots? What's this? I recently found this contraption in a swamp. I have yet to plumb its mysteries. Uh oh. Like, buttons need to be pushed. Can't you use all the magical gunk in these bottles to cure my hand? The pox of Lechuk can only be cured 
with La Esponja Grande. Yeah, we get that now. Diorama. That really puts the die in diorama. That really puts the die in diorama. Hey. All right, so I get it. It's a local one. Gotcha. Oh, there's the parrot. All right, parrot. Hand lotion. International House of Mojo brand hand lotion. Good for removing warts, curses, hexes, and unsightly buboes. Warning, not for use against poxes, especially the pox of LeChuck. <laughs> Rats. Oh, right. Actually, I might as well tell you, um, I've been very productive today. Well, not only have I been to the freaking laundromat uh, where I do my job training, which kind of sucks, but uh, besides that, I did three things of note today. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, I cleaned this entire area. My uh, my new uh, um, gaming desk and all that. I cleaned it up. I actually cleaned my uh, computer as well. So everything should be working properly. And also I, uh, I connected... I actually replaced the HDMI cable for the main screen with a uh, DisplayPort cable, which I didn't even realize I had. Um, because for, as far as I know, DisplayPort is a little better than HDMI, like with what resolutions and what um, frame, uh, like the... the the uh, hertz it can display. Um, so that was one thing. Um, oh, so actually it's four things in that case. Um, another thing I did. Oh, yeah. Uh, another thing I did was... Uh, um... I, sh I actually uh, canceled my landline. For you, I, I don't think I've ever said this to you guys, but I've had, until this day, I've had a landline telephone, um, which had another, which well had another a number, but nobody really called that except my mother, and. It was actually starting to cost a lot to have a landline because it was like the cost was going up, uh, and I ne I rarely used it. I did use it for for like official calls to like you know the hospital or like places where you have to be in line waiting, you know, and that's not ideal. And since I have now, I have actually two mobile phones, mobile phones. One main and one spare one, if I lose the first one. Uh, so I feel like I don't need the landline, you know? Yeah, I know. It's it's interesting. But, but so I've had it all this time. And I now I decided to join the 21st century. Um, and also I have... What was it? Actually, everything looks quite different now. I mean, you guys can't see it, but like, I, I'm like the the landline is gone, and yeah, honest. Oh, should show you. Oh, I don't have that here. Okay, never mind. Um, the final thing that I've done today, I have sent in my application. Uh, for the trade school that I was talking about for for a long time now. I did that today. I finally did it. Um, I sent in my application for uh, to be um, accepted at Mia de Institute in uh, in the city where I will be studying a professional video editor for one year and a half. 
and then I will also be in that case when I do if I get accepted uh, the last third of that uh, course is going to be an internship at some company where they need people that do these things um, so I'm a little bit nervous about that um, but I finally did it the thing is though uh, it's not done yet the application is sent in but I have to do three uh, tests um, a test of selection a test of um, uh, wait hold that thought a test of selection is the test of selection is actually what they all what everybody does there uh, test of selection and then uh, test of competence which I can do tomorrow already if I want to and the third one is a test of workmanship and that one has actually already been sent in so I only have to do two of these three tests um, but yeah we'll see if I get accepted or not I did send along um, some actual um, career experience uh, like a portfolio of stuff that I've done over the years um, so that can't hurt my chances at least and finally, the fourth the fourth thing I've done today, and I had absolutely no idea that I was going to be doing that, when I cleaned my gaming station and all that, when I when I went through this area, I finally resolved to fix my printer. The printer has been working up to now, but it has not been able to speak with the computer because it's a Wi-Fi connection. For some reason, the computer felt that it wanted to use the wrong port. Um, now I reinstalled it, and it seems to be working again. I know, I know. Believe me, I know. But I used a cable, uh, a cable, a wire, uh, the um, the uh, Ethernet wire for the uh, the network wire for for uh, um, the printer. And once I did that, it installed some kind of driver which made it work with the cable. And then I unplugged it and actually um, told Windows to find it again. And when it when it did, the uh, um, the proper drivers were set up, I think. So it works now. I don't know for how long. It might be that something s screws it up again. But I am actually relieved that it works now. Thing is, though, I have had it working before, but for some reason, it's it's always when there's a new Windows update. When that happens, it it totally trashes the connection between the computer and the printer for some reason. And I think it is because when Windows updates the uh um the, the company that makes the printers need to update their driver as well to work with the new update and that is always something that comes like after a long time so it's so annoying yeah i know today's kids won't even know well yeah i stopped using mine because it would disconnect every city yeah yeah it's annoying I have been using my... I, I've still been able to use uh, my printer, but I always do... I had to always, like... I've always had to... Since it stopped working, which is like a couple of years back, uh, the only way I can use my printer was to use a flash drive. I copy, like, documents or whatever onto the flash drive, and then I go to the printer and I put it in the printer and just, you know, print from that. It's not too annoying, but it's, like, something that's just, like, I didn't really want to do, have to do that, you know? Ink cost is also kind of stupid and expensive. Yes, it is, which is why I have a laser printer. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> it's locked. Yes. 
and it will remain locked until it's ready to reveal its secrets many moons from now. Okay. Yeah, I use a, uh, I bought a, a laser uh, printer specifically for the, for the reason that ink is just how the ink printer companies make their money. Uh, you had to like buy it so many times. It was expensive, and ink also dries very, unless you store it some like in the fridge or something. And even then, they still, if they're not being used, they just dry very quickly. Uh, a laser printer works with uh, by using toner cassettes. They're kind of like ink, but it's powder instead of a liquid, so it they don't. You don't have to worry about it drying up, um, which is very convenient. But laser printers, I think, is also like a lot, a lot more expensive to buy. Like when you buy it, the, like the the lump sum. Um, but I felt like it was, uh, it was worth it, you know. And I'm not talking about like the the troubles I've had with it, with the Wi-Fi connection and all that, but. I'm gonna save that money up within three sets of it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> hey, if you're done with this, can I have it? Fine. It's of no use to me now. Who's the studliest pirate in the whole wide world? It's me, Diver Street Boy, Mighty Pirate. <laughs> I knew you were you were actually supposed to get that. I, I figured. Frozen chicken gizzard, frozen newt eyes, snake venom popsicles. Yeah, I'm actually gonna, uh, everything I said right now about that I've done today, I should probably, I want to like announce it on my Discord as well, just so that people know, uh, can, you know, tell that I have a life. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it after stream. Uh, such an adult. Well, thank you, Sixter. Thank you very much. Um, I try to. What was that? Chest of foreshadowing. Uh, I. It was easier to do today once everything fell into place. Once the printer, once I got the printer to work, I could actually print out one of the pages of my application because they needed me to to sign the application. So I had to do that in my with my handwriting and then sc scan it back into the computer, you know. I uh, watered my plants today and had food. Okay, well, that's a full day. <laughs> What's this? That is a shrine to Noah Treblig, keeper of the crossroads. <clears throat> okay. What's this? That uh, anything else here? Probably not supposed to get anything else. Worst air freshener ever. What about the voodoo doll here? Okay, no. Voodoo. What's this? Ah, the spirits I just took it. have guided you well. That is a bottle containing an ancient scroll left behind by the Vecalians, the former inhabitants of Flotsam Island. Ancient okay. scroll, huh? Do you think it can tell me anything about these messed up winds? Perhaps. But first, you'll have to figure out how to break the unbreakable bottle I've sealed it in. Unbreakable bottle? Can't you, you do that? Just open Some it for me. secrets are too dangerous to fall into mortal hands, Threepwood. Anything else you want to tell me about this scroll in the bottle? I purchased a scroll from a bitter old pirate named Magee. Make of that what you will. <laughs> okay. So, I hope, uh, I hope you get, uh, I, I hope you feel better, uh, soon. Maybe... Have you thought about? I, I know it's it might not be easy to do, but have you thought about moving out of your apartment, like moving somewhere else? 
Or are you are you like in not in a position to do that? Murray? Uh, Murray! Murray? No, that's not Murray. <laughs> Obviously not. Alright, let's go. Looking for two years. Right. Oh shit. What happened? Weather rain. Ooh. Hmm. Guess this thing fell off the roof when I had my little LeChuck episode. I should get shouty more often. Hmm. Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that away. Okay. It's the pox. Pox up a chuck. The pox up a chuck. Nah. Pox up a chuck. Nah. Two on the nose. Not a pizzazz. Death cloud is punchy. More in your face. More. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Well, I got sick pirates to interview. See ya. Okay. <clears throat> Moving is tough, though. Uh, I don't have the money to pay double rent, which is very likely to happen. Yeah. I mean, it's it's too bad that you can't like do anything about that though. I don't want you to like. You know. Well, okay. You you've been living in that apartment for pretty long now, right? And this is the first time you feel this bad. But looking back up something else. Yeah, I don't I don't like that, Zuckster. You you need to You need to get out of there. Somehow. Isn't there anything you can do? Like, isn't there any any way to to fix that? I'm back. Hi! So you are <clears throat> within the same landmore. Apartments and they still forced me to pay them up. What can you tell me about this bottle? Arr, that'd be one of me special unbreakable bottles. Oh, he's got. He, he's ah, infected. There isn't a bottle alive that's a match for my gift for destruction. Impressive. The secret ingredients are those jagged crystal reefs. They're tougher than diamonds. Weird. But what do you do if you want to open one of these unbreakable bottles in order to, say, look at an ancient scroll you've cleverly sealed inside? Arr, that's a good question, lad. Here, show you how it's done. Okay. I use this little beauty to chip off flakes from the reefs and to crack open bottles like this one. Whoa! So let me get this straight. Your unbreakable bottles are, in fact, open by breaking them? Don't get cute, Blandy. I break other things too, you know. Okay, so... How do we... Okay. Could you use your nifty bottle-breaking tool to break open a bottle for me? Of course! Great! That would be 37 pieces of it. Oh! What? I haven't got any pieces of eight. Then I guess I won't be breaking any bottle for you. Okay. What about the uh, doctor up here? Can we finally enter this house? I haven't even checked checked the ship yet. I'm not no. sure whether this. Oh, 
Bonjour. Hi there. Are you a doctor? Mais oui. I am the Marquis de Singe, former court physician to King Louis himself. And who might you be? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Zut Your hand. Yeah, I seem to have come down with something. This is fantastic! We must investigate at once! Okay. Hmm. Très intéressant alors. And you say your sick little hand has a mind of its own? Yeah, it keeps hitting people, making rude gestures, doing all sorts of stuff I'd never do. Well, not without a really good reason, anyway. Fascinating. So, can you fix it? Monsieur Sripwood, you have my word as a former physician of the court of King Louis that by the time you leave here, your misanthropic hand will never trouble you again. He's gonna wanna, like, amputate. So, how did a dazzling urbanite like yourself wind up in a sleepy pirate island like Flotsam? Ah, mon ami, that is a tale of triumph and tragedy. Many years ago, I was a young physician in the court of King Louis. Those were eighty days, tending to the many ills of the aristocracy, navigating the scandalous palace intrigues. I was a rising star in this scientific firmament. And then? I mean, then? <laughs> a conspiracy of jealous scientists accused me of performing inhumane cross-breeding experiments with the Queen's poodles! <laughs> scientists can be so catty. The king was outraged and ordered me exiled on this deserted tropical island. Deserted? Then you were the first? Oui. Happily, my solitude was short lived, as the merry winds of Flotsam have conspired to bring me many new pirate patients over the years. Okay. Scientifically speaking, what do you think is the cause of these crazy winds swirling around Flotsam? Ah, yes, the winds. Personally, I'm convinced that they are a rare, but perfectly natural meteorological phenomenon caused by a Lagrange inversion of the atmospheric humors in the upper troposphere, causing a counter-cyclonic... Uh... forget I asked. Incroyable! So, Doc, what's the verdict? Ah, oh, monsieur, you are a very lucky man. I am? Ah, oui. The disease spreading through your saucy little parrot hand is like nothing I've ever seen before. That doesn't sound very lucky. In fact, somewhere in that easing appendage may lie the secret to life itself. It may. What? Hey, nice going, Han. I'll know more after I cut it off. What? I knew it. I knew it. I called it. But of course, Monsieur Sripwood, the only cure for a hand that infected is a quick, clean amputation. Amputation? Isn't that a little rash? No, it's a very big rash, which is why we'll have to amputate. But not to worry, monsieur. Your hand won't feel a thing thanks to my specially concocted rogue anesthetic. Ow! Now, if you'll just relax here a few minutes, I'll be in the back sharpening my petit guillotine blade. We don't want to cut off our hand with a dual blade now, do we? Well, I guess you have a point there. Au revoir! Uh... What a loon! But at least my hand seems under control for a while. I better figure out a way out of this tastefully appointed abattoir before the Marquis de Crazy Pants comes back. Uh, the sound sensor can be moved by using A and D to rotate left and right. Don't leave it nothing. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. This is interesting. Feet don't fail me now. Score one for the pirate with the pointy feet. Okay. Uh oh. I hope this works, or I'm about to throw away a perfectly good key. Monkey! After I take care of Monsieur Sweepwood, it's back in the box for you. Listen, Monkey, if you and I work together, we can both bust out of this joint. What do you say? Are you with me? <laughs> That's the universal symbol for yes. <laughs> so, Zookster, what, what are your plans for, for the week? 
you got anything uh, you want to you want to do? Uh, that's a mouse trap. Okay. Come on, Jacques, help a guy out. Wonderful. Uh. It's the box for Jacques. Hmm. A Jacques in the box. I need to clean up the apartment. It's pretty bad after not being able to do some. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. Are you are you uh, uh, streaming anything? Any anything anymore? Any? It's a strange drawing of the inside of my hand. I call it la desengraph. I call it creepy. I wonder what that does. That is my experimental Futro volume, which pulls lightning from the skies via these cute little balls. Why would you do that? Science! Okay. Uh... I've heard of these. I think they're called microscopes. I prefer the term in large drama. Ah, and I prefer to rip your gizzard out, you sniveling sea slug. Whoa, what was that? I think we know what that was. It's an enlarger rama. It's an enlarger rama. Oh. This looks like it might do something interesting. <laughs> oh shit. Ouch. That looked unpleasant. What about the other pedal? Let's see what this does. Bananas from heaven. Thanks, banana god. Okay, so it's a punishment and reward system. Come on, Jacques. Help a guy out. Wonderful. Wait, let's see if we can banana pedal that. Uh, am I supposed to use the other pedal now? Sorry. Oh, we got the okay. All right, feet, make yourselves useful. All right, a gross picture of my grosser hand. Things are looking up. Uh oh. Ah, I get it. I don't think I want to drop this there. I can't reach it from this position. Whoops. I meant to do that. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Very good. Yes. Yes. 
Get the key. Uh... That's the key to send you to lock me down. If only we weren't so far away. I get the key. So with this image, I get him to go there. It's a cute little bell that makes the monkey play with that picture machine over there. Oh, okay, wow, that's what you do. Magnetic monkey. I had a dream like that once. Only it was an iguana, not a monkey. And instead of a key, it was an ice cream cone. Plus, I was in my underwear for some reason. <laughs> wow, he seems excited about something. Okay. Are you hungry? Do you need to go to the bathroom? It's the bathroom, isn't it? <laughs> hmm, I could swear I've seen a monkey do that before. Come on, Jacques. Bring me the key. <laughs> what is it, boy? Are you hungry? Do you need to go to the bathroom? It's the bathroom, isn't it? Hmm, I could swear I've seen a monkey do that before. Okay, so we got the key over here. It's a machine that uses... I mean, I can't really do... well, no. Maybe he wants... The, a banana. Oh! Come on, you magnificent magnetic monkey. Gotcha! Now, to work the key into the lock. Ta-da! Gotcha. Monsieur Swipwood! What do you think you're doing? Get back on the table at once. Sorry, Doc, but I think I should get a second opinion. Thanks for numbing up my hand, though. All that flailing and slapping was getting on my nerves. Wait! <laughs> Good lord. Wait! Stop! I must have your beautiful, justifying hand! Come on! Slovenly parrots! Leaving their trash floating all over the place. Hmm, a parrot hunter. Eh? Wait, why was I? Why was Guybrush doing this? I don't get it. Okay, so what do we do? Let's check out the ship. Maybe we need... Can we talk to the doctor here? Doc? No, oh, it's you. Unless you're here to volunteer your hand to the advancement of science, I have nothing to say to you. For now. Interesting. Interesting. What are you doing out here? Don't you have some mildly injured pirates to mangle? I'm investigating these wondrously icky green clouds that have settled over Flotsam Island. You know, there's other sick pirates infected with the same disease as my hand. Why don't you cut off their limbs? Oh, I have. But your case is special somehow. I must have that hand. Mm, how about no? We'll just see about that. Eh? <laughs> Why are you so interested in my hand anyway? Because the disease that courses through it appears to be an entirely new life form, capable of animating and taking over dead tissues. 
No kidding! That's so... Wait, did you say dead tissues? <laughs> My hand's not dead. It moves. Sometimes all by itself. And that's what makes it so fascinating. A seemingly necrotic, uh, persistently animating as you're compelled by an outside force. Just imagine the possibilities. Oh, uh, really weird puppet shows? Bye. Au revoir. For now. <laughs> okay. Not much just when I really get really into a game speed. All right. Do you have any plans for any speedruns? Um, up any upcoming speedruns? Oh, can I not? Oh, wait. Maybe I can use the anchor. Welcome aboard, sir. Dan Winslow? What are you doing here? If it's all right with you, Captain... I'd like to stay aboard as your first mate. I don't know. Oh. I really don't. Yeah. I really don't. Jolly good, sir. You won't regret it. Mark my words. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe some of my stitches have popped. I'll meet you here if the winds ever change. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to use the ship to escape the island. And then once we are done with the ship, he's going to take it back, I think. I uh, only have plans for two new games that came out early this month. Mini Shoot Adventures and Biomorph. Mini, Mini Shoot Adventures and Biomorph. Okay. I go back to Haiku, the robot, and Grime at some point. You know what? Let's do this. Give me, give me something here. Wow. That was a short clip. Let's do it again. Wait, is this the only clip? Oh, wait, there has to be another one. There we go. Oh, that was close. Very close to getting it. What did I just absorb? What did I just absorb? I love your question. Like, what did I just absorb? <laughs> yeah well that's that happens to me too like there's a the, sometimes someone will make a clip and it's like ending up in in the in the archive and i don't know but i thought that um the clips would like that there was um a place where you like input clips Oh, I haven't done that in a while. Where was that? Were you actually... Where was that? Clips or something? No. Streamer help. Oh, shit. Oh, it's actually showing my live stream here. <laughs> There's two viewers who's watching my live stream. Cool. Um, but no. It could be actually the streamer help. I don't know. I haven't done that in, in a long time. Uh, oh, that was an interesting thing that happened. I threw an item at the boss that basically splits into more explosives, and that's the clip I learned, I can also, I can absorb those extra explosives that spawns from the light. Okay. 
Very nice. Have you seen that I um, um that I have continued with uh, uh, Shovel Knights on Streamer's Choice Mondays? Now we're doing the DLC. I did beat the original one. Um. Oh, hang on. Ow, shit. Um, the the final boss was was a bit challenging. Um, I did feel a bit like you know, like I was banging my head against the wall for a time. But eventually, once I figured it out, it was like it wasn't too too bad or anything. Now we're doing uh, Plague of Shadows when we're playing as uh, Plague Knight. Yes, it's a rollicking pirate adventure for me. Just as soon as the winds start blowing away from the island. No, 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 no. What, can we not, like, roam around on the deck? Got a ship again. Now, if only these stupid winds would stop. Oh, yeah, because I clicked on the exit. That was a little bit annoying. Cheese wheel. A cheese wheel. Monster. Yeah. Still, maybe I'll find some starving rats who will eat it. I have never seen a, a cheese wheel in real life. I've seen it on TV and stuff like that, but I've never, like, actually seen a real cheese That's wheel. That's a tightly sealed barrel of tar, used for patching up cracks and hazing bosons. Tar... I don't think anything short of explosive force is going to open up that tar barrel. Oh. Oh, I don't have the bombs anymore. Okay, never mind. Hey, it's one of those spiffy new Hungarian easy action cannons I've been begging Elaine to let me buy. Whoa. The wind's really doing a number on that cannonball. <laughs> Oh, okay. Not again. Let's do it again. Oh, okay, okay. That's the main mast of the screaming narwhal, or main tree. I'll sleep when I'm dead, or later tonight. It's a detailed map of the entire Gulf of Melange. This thing will come in handy if I ever get off this Schlinger Island. The Gulf of Melange, okay. Ah. Oh, look at this. Oh, we can use the wasp keys. Uh, this is the first time I realize it because the tutorial said we should use this. Which isn't really that intuitive. It's actually e much easier to use the wasp keys. Nice. Good. Okay. Aw, oh, this poor guy. Ooh! It's amazing how many of life's problems are solved by indiscriminate cannon fire. Right. All right. What kind of jerk would do that? I don't know. But when I find that stuffer scraper, I'll shove one of me bottles so deep up his fundament. 
what's a fundament? <laughs> okay. Are we still not? Oh, who's who's this? Hey there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. And you are? It's Hemlock. Hemlock McGee. Uh, you me? couldn't leave old Hemlock alone with his grog and his tattered dreams, could you? Uh. Oh, okay. Why aren't you in Club 41, curled up with your grog? The two diamond cannon cloggers kicked me out! Why? The club has a strict no feet, no service clause. Oh, Talk okay. About an insult to injury. What the heck happened to your legs? You mean, <laughs> aside from some Egypt <laughs> getting a poor old pirate involved in a deadly bar fight? <laughs> Um, yeah. Four words. The Marquis de Singe. Oh, okay, the doctor. The Marquis de Singe cut off your legs? I Not only once, of course. He cut off the first leg seven years ago, after I stubbed me toe while investigating the winds of Hudson Island. That seems kind of severe. I sometimes I think that Ponzi Git has it <coughs> in for me. You were investigating the winds of Flotsam Island? I I've been training a Sasso D Zany Zephyr since I <coughs> washed up here. I even found an ancient scroll that promised to lead me to all the answers. No. I but I couldn't figure it out. I got so frustrated that I kicked one of those statues out in the jungle and stubbed me toe. When I went to that butcher de Sange, he cut me leg off! Ooh, harsh. Without two good legs, I couldn't explore anymore. So I limped into Club 41 and started up a long-term relationship with a keg of grog. What are you doing now, Zookster? Are you, uh... Playing something? Can I see your ancient scroll? Pray not, Skippy. Some two bit witch stole it from me in a poker game a few months ago. Won't do any good without my eye of the manatee, though. Keen. Can I borrow it? Now, why in the name of Neptune's head nails would I let you borrow this priceless artifact of a long dead civilization? Uh. Yeah. If the singe does have it in for you, I might be able to use it to wreak some sort of piratey revenge on him. Uh, fine. Can't use it anymore, anyhow. Thanks, Hemlock. I promise you probably won't regret this. Probably. Oh, really? Uh, are you, like, having legit complaints? I guess court isn't in session today, which is probably. You know what? Let me check something out here. Nope, that didn't work. There you go. Okay. Elaine, here I come. Or um, maybe not. Huh. Wait. This looks promising. There we go. Okay, uh... Okay. Uh, I have complaints about two things, then three things I wish they could add change. 
The last dungeon boss flashes, flashes very heavily when hit, and we hit multiple times. Oh, okay. This is with the screen flashing turned down to zero. It's honestly a risk of it. Yeah. I gotcha. I get what you're, what you're saying. Flower. Okay. Ooh. I got gotcha. you. I understand. Yeah, this cheese wheel is starting to go soft. Maybe I shouldn't be storing it in my pants. <laughs> Interesting. Right, we're supposed to go to the altar first, I think. Yeah, this is the altar, and... I wonder what sort of hideous sacrificial rites were performed on this ancient altar. Hmm, tastes like chicken. I don't want to sacrifice that. Wait. This one, maybe. Yeah, there we go. What? Okay. Uh... So we go B, monkey, and then we follow the wind. Okay. So B, monkey. Yeah. So far, so good. B and monkey. And here we follow the wind. I guess you use the ve weather vane for that. Uh, no, wait. Hmm. Okay. And now, uh, uh, are those drawings supposed to represent the wind? Yes. Here we dump some flowers. Okay. Yes. All right. This looks promising. Uh, okay, follow the wind. I guess. Yeah, follow the wind, and then bees, and then follow the wind. Uh, Interesting. This looks promising. Wait, it was follow the wind and bees. Right? Yeah, bees follow the wind again. Okay.
And now are those drawings supposed to represent the wind? We walk one circle counterclockwise around the ca the calendar and then follow the wind. All right, follow the wind. Hmm. Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that way. There we go. Perfect. Someone's coming. I never thought I'd have to come out here again. But it'll be worth a temporary fluctuation in Flotsam's wind to get my hands on Sweepwood's hand. <laughs> hands on his hand. Out roll. Interesting. What was that all about? And what's behind that door? What is behind that door? Indeed. The orange door. You remembered, man. What is behind that door? You know what? Maybe we will find that out tomorrow, because I feel like this is a good place to wrap things up. <sighs> it's almost midnight here. We've gotten this far. And this is like a classic cliffhanger. What is behind the door? Will Guybrush get rid of the pox of LeChuck? Will he ever see Elaine again? Find out tomorrow on the next episode of The Scre Launch of the Screaming Narwhal. Da -da 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 -da. You know. We did say, right? 23, 43. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, I'm quite tired, so, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Quit. There we go. Perfect. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Well, we will continue that uh, tomorrow um, and see where it takes us. We will probably be able to... We'll probably beat Chapter 1 tomorrow. <gasps> Which is perfect, because tomorrow's Thursday, and then on Friday... Um, probably not going to be streaming, but we'll see. We'll see. But if I stream on Friday, then maybe I'll stream something else. Uh, and then continue with Monkey Island in two weeks. Because next week, of course, is console week. And the interesting thing about console week next week is that we are going to be finally we're not we're not going to be doing Red Dead Redemption two anymore. It only took us like forever to go through that one. Um, so next week, uh, I kind of want to get back to using the capture card so we might actually be doing some some uh, old school uh console game tomorrow uh, next week i have been thinking about one game in particular that i want to do it's for the xbox 360 and it is called blue dragon 
I bought Blue Dragon because I'd heard very good things about it, but it is an RPG, so it's liable to actually take a long time to go through. Um, oh, you've played it? All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it, actually, because uh, it's one of those games that I have owned for a long time, but never really uh, played. I've actually never played it at all. So I am thinking about doing that one. Still have a physical... Nice! Me too, me too. Um, that is one of them, at least. One of my options that I'm th uh, considering. I'm also considering um, to... Uh, keep going in the Metal Gear Solid uh, adventures this time. We'll move into Metal Gear Solid 2 uh, territory. Uh, and, of course, I've also been thinking about finally starting Bioshock. Because but with Bioshock, even though it's for PS4, um, since we last time we, we tried it out, and we realized that Sony was censoring the cutscenes um, in in its uh, streaming software, I realized that, okay, I'm going to have to use the capture card for that one. So, it's probably going to be one of those. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that is it, guys, for tonight. Hope you have a good uh, Thursday tomorrow. If you want to, you're welcome to check out my Discord, which is reachable through that link. That is where you'll always get the latest news and updates regarding the channel. And uh, um, you're more than welcome to join. Um, if you want to check out my list ref, list of... List of... If you want to check out my progression with the retro games, specifically the, the old school Nintendo games, um, you can do that there. Like I said yesterday, that's not the only list that I have. It's mainly the list for old school Nintendo games and also um, uh, games that have been requested by stream bosses. But mostly that list is dedicated to games that can give me achievements through uh, RetroArc. Uh, whereas the other list, which is on my profile page here on Steam, here on Steam, here on Twitch, uh, is a list of the rest of the games that I've gone through. Uh, but yeah, if you want to check out the progression, you can do that uh, through that link, that link, there you go. Um, that is where you'll see uh, what we have in store for us, and uh, uh, also the backlog, well, th that is the backlog, but also the history of where, where we have been and all that. Zookster, thank you so much for showing up, it means a lot to me, I hope you feel better soon, um, somehow. I mean, I, I wish you the best, man. Uh, I hope things work out for you soon. Um, and that is it. I'll see you again tomorrow, guys. Until then, remember, stay safe, mind social distance, and always keep the retro legacy alive. Zigobite83, wishing you the best. Take care, good night, and goodbye.